All right, it just now started loading. See, part of me knew this was coming, but I am... Um, huh, just not sure what to say. Aside from usual-ish. I mean, uh, technically speaking, it was a tie vote again. I'm starting to think that my channel doesn't have that many active people that actually want to comment stuff that it's just going to be nothing but tie votes. But, you know, uh, it's just that way. If you heard that, that was my door. If not, then oh well, ignore what I'm saying. It's probably just crazy sounding to you. Anyways, uh, it was a tie vote again, so this magic quarter right here... Oh, wait. Almost fell out of my hand. Is the one that shows everything again. It's choosing a lot of stuff lately, actually. <laughs> and, um, uh, hmm. Uh, don't mind me again. Random stuff. But, uh, click, 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 click. I'm, ju I'm saying that's so how that I can sync it in later on during the editing process, but... Hey, everybody! We're down here. Welcome to the Sky of Four. I promise I'm forgotten. I love this game so much, and I feared so much that I would end up playing Sky 3. Maybe it was my will that that influenced the quarter, maybe it was a... Uh, mercy, for all I know. <laughs> it's not... I... Alright, I guess one thing straighten out. Is that a Sky, 4, the Sky 3 the bad game? Just that... It is, in my opinion, at least, the weakest link of the Disguise series as a whole. Just the one that I... I played through, I had fun with, but I did not... I was in no rush to try to go through the post-game content. I did not want to just... How to say it? I had no desire to go for post-game content DLC and such, whereas, for example, this game, I loved it. I... I'm still trying to! But as you kind of saw in that potato shot video, ball sort of wipes the floor with several people. Click, click. Click, I... Right. Now I'm trying to sync it up. Shut up. Alright, uh, combat speed, uh... Just the character movement, medium. Whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh god! What? I... No, not classic. We're going to advanced. We want to see HD sprites. Uh, window transparent. Ooh, we could go transparent. Uh, why not? So you can see stuff in the background. Or this is what I'm used to, maybe. Cursor speed. I see no notable difference. It's probably not even in this. Speed. Scooter. Cheetah! Hyperdrive! Turtle. Scooter. Cheetah. Hyperdrive. Turtle, just something tells me that it would actually show, take longer than they're talking. Scooter, I'm guessing, is exact, like, as much. Cheetah is a little bit ahead of them, so you could possibly get ahead. And Hyperdrive is basically, it just happens. <laughs> so, I, I'm gonna keep it on Scooter, actually. Uh, yeah, Scooter. Everything else, I don't think I need to change at all. And with this, we're gonna start. Okay, okay, my mic's not unmuted, so you can't hear this. Because actually, this is my second time recording this thing was actually going into gameplay, and my mic was muted. So much hurt. <laughs> oh, it squeaky chair, it squeaks so much. And as a heads up, actually, technically it's Saturday, but also technically it's 12 14 a.m., so <laughs> we're gonna get this over with. Kind of ish. <coughs> Let's enter. A new game. Since the dawn of time, humans have always feared the darkness. Vampires, werewolves, zombies, ghosts. Although it differs slightly from culture to culture, people's fear of the darkness has grounded them into living conservatively. In the current world, Thanks to wars, terrorism, weapons of mass destruction, accidents caused by human error, and daily incidents of murder, humans have grown to fear the actions of their own kind, even more than the darkness itself. This is the story of a group of heroes who have stood up to fight back against such a corrupted society. Dripping blood, fangs sinking into its skin. Oh, what a splendid taste. A 
extract of life overflows and fills my body. I can feel its power. Oh, the waves of ecstasy. How magical. Are these insignificant creatures known as sardines? His name is Valvatoris, an elite vampire who was once feared for being a tyrant. In spite of his legend, he now spends his life in Hades, the netherworld's prison, admiring sardines. His werewolf steward, Fenwick, who routinely showers his master with praise and compliments. As expected of you, Lord Valvatoris. No matter the hardships or circumstances, you are ever the optimist, my lord. <laughs> Listen to this, Fenwick. Sardines are the most ideal food because they are full of nutrients, like omega-3 fatty acids. In other words, they cleanse your blood, prevent various diseases, and help you to burn more fat. I've been here for quite some time, but I never knew these cheap sardines possessed so much potential. One should never underestimate the studies that are conducted in the human world. <laughs> there is no doubt that my body is benefiting from these sardines' nutrition. This is evolution! My body is truly evolving since the time I was credited as being a tyrant. The fact that you don't even acknowledge it as a degeneration is one of my Lord Valvatoris' many formidable powers. Care for another to enhance your evolution, my lord. Ah, this one looks rather juicy and delicious. Wait a second. Yes, is there a problem? Rick, once again you have attempted to sneak this into my meal. The blood of humans! As expected, my lord, you saw right through my deception. Of course! Never doubt a vampire's sense of smell. I only meant it as a gift to my master, who has lost his power due to a foolish promise that he made in the past. Since you can't abide breaking promises, I figured it would be prudent for you to imbibe it unintentionally. Do you disapprove? How many times do I have to tell you? A proud demon like myself would never break a promise. Demon's promises are supposed to be sacred. They are caught. I admire that you have retained your values as a demon, even after you lost your powers and fell to Hades. Lord Valvatoris, all of the prinnies have been gathered. Please come to the Prinny Factory. You, Prinny, repeat what you just said. <laughs> I, I only asked you to come to the factory. Fool! You forgot to include dude in all of your lines! Prinny rule number one. You shall always include the word dude in every line you say. <laughs> You're absolutely right! Dude! I'm sorry, dude! Too late! You must start over from level one. Level 1 Prinny Task, Scrubbing the Toilet. Can't even master the basics. The quality of the human souls is decreasing by the day. That is why. That is why I have to do this. I vowed to become a Prinny instructor the very day I fell to Hades because I knew that was my true call. What an impressive ability to overwrite his memory of losing his power and being forced to take the least wanted job in the netherworld. This is another one of his formidable powers. He can convert any suffering that he's been through into something positive. You're way too good to be a lowly, prinny instructor, my lord. Someday, I, Fenric, will... Let's go, Fenric! It's time to fulfill our duty! Episode 1, Rebels of Hades. Woo! Rebels!
Before we get going, I've got a team support forces to help you with your tasks. These people will come along with and follow you as printing instructors in training. You a warrior? Small mate. <coughs> I'm a fighter! I'm a fighter, a warrior. Physical attacks and close combat are my specialties. Pleased to meet you, my lord. I'm Red Skull, a magician. I'll care. I'll take care of magic attacks. Nice to meet you, my lord. I'm Healer, a cleric. I'll support you with my healing powers. Thank you for having me, my lord. Very nice, Fenric. How very considerate of you. I'd rather we'd have to handle my job than adequate. I I I fuck, I can't read. I was worried that I wouldn't be able to handle my job adequately with the steady increase in new printies. Well now, new fights. I said that right, don't judge me. As a fully fledged printing instructor, pay attention to my leadership and follow in my footsteps. Fighter Red Skull and Healer are now part of our. There are followers, not party members, they're followers. Oh, one more thing. I have good news for you, my lord. <laughs> Poor Nekomot. Mm -hmm, kitty thing. <coughs> Brene! <laughs> Please, take solace, my lord. We have caught the sardine thief. <gasps> sardine thief! <coughs> this is most excellent news, Federic. The fight for the sardines has finally come to an end. As punishment, this all must work for me. For free. Forever. <laughs> yes, my lord. Meow, meow. Damn it, this is like living a living hell. Cat there, the sergeant thief was forcefully enlisted into following you. <laughs> now, let's put it everyone to the pretty factory! The sardine thief just does not look happy. Wow. Ooh, treasure chest, treasure chest, treasure chest. Damn it. A, B, C, aw, oh, already been chewed gum. For those of you that didn't know that's what it meant, that's what it meant. Wow, it's... Ooh, chest. 30 health, we're on our way to being rich. Yep, here is the last one. A makeshift bow. What is that one, actually? We have three sardines. God's gift to man. Next time, won't you chew? <laughs> I'll settle Blade's gone. Eh, maybe. I, I actually don't know if I should stay online or not. Probably I'll get spammed with messages or something. Don't pull it too hard, or you'll break it. <laughs> I don't think I would need to talk to anyone right Talk to any everyone right now. But meh. We have Valva Torres, Fenric, Roger, Regan, Regan Hibbs, him, Tammy, Sardine Thief, Kistler, Mitra, Mitra, whatever you want to call it. So awesome. Look at them, all being fuzzy stuff. And with this, uh, I guess, um, we're still setting up, please come back later. Oh, so I can't even make people yet, actually. I need to go inside there and make people. To the campaign manager. It's a campaign manager, alright. That's It's not the Dark Sam, but it's campaign manager. We got... Ability shop. We'll get to those when we get to them. General store! Armors. Weapons. Medics up there, and... Data shop. I'm still getting ready. Wait, something about the campaign HQ? Often, oh, a pretty instructor, mass hero. Fenric can call you Lord Val, but then he got so mad at me. <laughs> of course, the only person in the world who's allowed to call my master Lord Val is me. Remember that if you want to live. It was slight out of joke, right, Lord Val? <laughs> I'll kill you. <laughs> Well, I'm probably spending too much time on this. I actually don't even know how long the recording is, so... I will cross that bridge when I... run out of rope for some analogy. The Rebels of Hades. Tutorials everywhere!
After death, the souls of human sinners are sent to Hades. When they arrive in Hades, the Netherworld's prison, they are processed to become Prinnies at the Prinny Factory. The Prinnies go through extensive training in Hades before being sent off to the Netherworld or Celestia. They are to work diligently in a strict and harsh environment until they can pay for their sins. <laughs> there you all are. You've gathered here just as I ordered. Yes, sir! Just as you ordered, dude! Excellent! Now listen up, Prinnies! Today is your very last day in Hades! You have all died and were sent to Hades. Why is that? Because we committed crimes, dude! That's right! You're lowly criminals! And who educated you peons who didn't even know how to speak like a Prinny? Lord Palpatores, dude! Correct! I've raised you all to become great Prinnies, so that you can be shipped out to the Netherworld at any time. Today is the day you've been waiting for. Today, you will go forth and work hard to pay for your sins. There's one last thing I wish to say, now that you have all reached this day. This is the very last lesson, tutorial, I will give you. Press the triangle button if you're confident enough. The battle will start immediately. Now let the lesson begin. I'm gonna give you one last lesson today, so listen carefully. Aye aye, dude! Start with the basics of battle. Anyone can fight in a battle. But no one can win without knowing the basics. Tutorial battle basics. First, bring the cursor to the battle panel. Press the X button. These characters. Then select a character and press X to summon them to the battle map. Brace yourself. Pick the wrong one. Move the cursor over the, the character and press the circle to cancel their command. Here I come. If that is hard to see, rotate your view counterclockwise with the L button or clockwise with the R button. We, we, <laughs> we, we. You can change your point of view by pressing the L or R buttons while holding the d down the square button. You'll need this command for certain maps, so it'll be good for you to make note of this now. Let's learn to give commands to some character. As you already know, I like to my enemies face to face, therefore I'm moving next to the enemy. When the move is done, select the attack command. Then, that's all it takes to get your commands. Now let's execute the register commands. Bring up the menu and triangle button and select executor and turn. We'll do the execute here. <sighs> that's the flow of action. Now remember, it's just command, triangle button, execute. Why can't we attack immediately, dude? You must also consider team attacks and combos when you're in battle. Let Fenric and I show you an example of issuing two actions. Come, Fenric! Yes, my lord. Brace yourself. Hey, he, he just attacked. That's cheating. Kind of. Here I come. Pretty is built like a fucking tank. Whoa, that was some intense attacks, dude. That was totally awesome. <laughs> and there you have team attacks and combos. Team attack can activate when two or four allies are next to each other on the map. Combos activate when consecutive attacks are aimed at a single target. The longer the combo, the stronger each attack gets. Even my lord will be able to demonstrate up to one millionth of his original power if he utilizes these two actions as well. <laughs> Exactly. Your ally member will take their actions in, order, in the order you assign them. Send the commands to them. Beginners should keep in mind the best way to con connect beautiful combos when they assign these commands. You will not be able to cancel attacks and special attacks after they've been executed, so make sure you pay good attention. Got that. Aye aye, dude! 
worse. <coughs> oh, so what would happen if I choose end turn, dude? Hey, you know, if you do that now. Ah, Lord Valvatar is. Damn, Lord Val, damn you, pretty! Calm down, Fabric. My servant must not lose himself due to such insignificant circumstances. Carelessly choosing end turn may lead to these kind of trouble. Keep that in mind, Prunny. Okay, dude. Son, sorry. My son Farrick would have killed me for sure if I did that again, dude. Even if you're defeated, you can be revived at the Hades inf Infirmary. So we won't be dead forever, huh? What a relief, dude. However, you will need to pay to be revived. Make sure you work hard enough so that you will be worth reviving. <laughs> it will be game over if all your summon Ali members are defeated. Upon a game over, you will have to restart from where you last saved. So make sure you save frequently. Yes. You can review this lesson. You can review this lesson by going to tutorial from the main menu. That's all for the first part of this lesson. Now it's time to train in an actual battle. Everyone get in position. Now the pretty long tutorial. According to Audacity, you can hear that, so I'm not sure. Meh. Yep. Let's see, who shall we... Look in... You actually have to attack, oh dear god. Here I come! Let's just team attack right now so that we can get everyone something, I guess. Time to bust some balls! I'm gonna do it! Time to bust some balls! Huh, something. Right. What? How? No, really, how did... Th Alright, you know. I I don't argue. I'll show you. <coughs> then Lord Val. Time to bust some balls. I'm gonna do it. Wow, you can actually see the level up right being right there. Forgive me. No, no forgiving. <laughs> Oh, come on, only the Sardine Thief. No. Time to bust some balls. Is that all he's gonna say? Wow. Gonna do it. Only 27. Okay, but, you know, Max is still being mildly OP as they have been before. Ah, oh well. That's gonna end it right there, I think. Yep. <coughs> A sardine bone. And 12 XP. My apologies for the waste, Lord Val. Rose and Queen Co. has finally been established. Good. Now I can work on my equipment. There they are. As you requested, I've set up the weapon shot armor shop and general store. Each character can equip up to one weapon and three equipment items. The general store mostly sells consumables such as healing items, which you should always have handy. By using equipment, you can customize your fight style by either focusing on weapons or focusing on armor. Please consult Zombie. Zombie. Junior. For most details about weapons. He's an expert in the field. Got it. Let's talk about equipment and healing items. My lord, one more thing. Please accept these funds. Really, that's all you're gonna give us, alright? Hundred hell, huh? No, it's not! 
we will be getting much more in the near future. All is for my lord. Jump, 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 jump. He <laughs> jumping. I missed. Oh wait, what? <gasps> I'm on top. Yeah. <coughs> Imperial sea. Each character has different choices. So check their stats. I'll start remember. Are you equipped to you again in the beginning? Come turn on opening. For more information about Swift and Zombie Jr., yes. Oven mitts. Oh, I told you it's gonna be hot! They were shoved into the back of the closet. Huh. This one gives more age. This one gives more HP, but less attack. This one gives more attack, but less HP. It would do good from Fenric. Eh, ah, whatever. Wait, we gotta manage the money actually a bit. Oh, cut last. Wait, I can sell stuff, I forgot. The makeshift bow. For not much. Uh, actually, let me see. Well, Sardine bowl. Shiny, so I'll keep this. Make sure to blow. No, actually, I could sell. I could sell that and possibly. No, I can't get a cutlass. This this knife sucks. Never do anything halfway. <laughs> Herring knife. You can cut an apple into shape of like money. I prefer HP. This would go on Valzi. Valtoris. My intelligence would go down? What is intelligence for at all? <coughs> Healing. Yes. Don't get the game over. I'll try to keep it like that. <coughs> As for if completed one chapter, I'm gonna save. This data can only be used by installing the latest data. Continue saving. Yes. Ah, uh, so much time spent in these ones. A new one for us. <coughs> one hundred percent. Come on, come on. Stop being at forty. Stop being at forty. There you go. Three thirty nine AM, what the hell? Oh dang, I think it was time I forgot I didn't do it. Campaign, I shall make you someday. My lord. The netherworld and earth yet sure. I did. Yeah, I'm fine. Please make sure to save before every battle. You never know what might happen. Fenric, you worry too much. I'll be careful with my saves too. Uh, <laughs> I apologize. Since you're forbidden from drinking blood. I've seen how you lost your powers. That makes me want to point things out. Huh, I have sardines. They've given me enough power without having to drink blood. Don't worry, Fenric. <coughs> Special skills and defense. For well, this part of the lesson, I will go over special skills and defense. Aye, aye, dude! Special skills can inflict more damage than normal attacks. There are character skills and weapon skills. Character skills can be used by that character. Weapon skills can be used by human types. Use units by obtaining special skills. This task the ability shop in Hades later to learn more details about these skills. Now you shall see it for yourself. I'll demonstrate my unique skill as an example. I healed 1 HP. Whoa, low avatar. You're so cool, dude. Unlike normal attacks, you can't activate team attacks, special attacks, but you can still create combos. Start a combo for normal attack or team attack, and then add special skills at the end for to be more effective. Now moving on to defense. 
Defense will decrease the amount of damage that will be inflicted by enemies. You can protect an ally behind you from my special skill by selecting defense. Now watch me receive a special skill as I do defense in front of Fenric. Here I come! Better than take any damage, dude. Lord, you shouldn't have done that for me. If you use the defense system wisely, you will be able to carry on a battle by protecting your damaged allies. Will my defense range get bigger if I'm trying to protect a cute girl, dude? It's time for battle. Protect the injured and defend the enemy when you have special skills. Aye, aye, dude. It's basically enough to defeat the enemy, right, dude? Yeah, just defeat them. But actually. Actually, I beat the game without knowing about that defend thing, so that's actually a pretty interesting thing to learn you. after I beat the game. Well, everyone, everyone's level two now, except oh shit. Here I come. Well, you still no heal, so that's good. I'll teach you a lesson. <coughs> Here I come. I got this. You got this. Alright, so that's all. Still gonna do a team attack just in case they help out a lot. Not bad. Brace yourself. I got this. For shits and giggles, can I know, actually? Damn it. Forgive me. Part of me really wants to just throw the pretty. <laughs> really, why you why you just neglect the healer? Sardine Thief isn't even all that helpful. Killer still does take it fast, so... Can the healer actually get over there? No. Might as well try to include the healer, though. Can't do anything. Still get out. Include other people, damn it. Oh well. Damn it, no XP extra. Oh well. We tried. Welcome back, Lord Vibratory. The ability shop has just opened. The ability shop is the place to purchase ability, special skills, and magic. Purchase? I have to pay for them? Well, pay with mana to be exact. You gain mana by defeating enemies. You can purchase new abilities at the ability shop. I'll go ahead and briefly explain the special abilities and the abilities. Learn ability. <laughs> Tyrant Slave. You can equip up to two abilities. One should be unique to the units, job, or monster class. In my case, Tyrant Slave is my unique ability. Another ability can be learned through the ability shop by main mana. Each ability has a different effect, and requires a different amount of mana. That's all for me, you can talk to the ability shop for more. Actually, I'm gonna look and see what we have so far. Damn it, I get... Let me do abilities, I... Fenric just explained it all. Oh, aside from this, human types, units can equip one additional ability, and monster type units can equip two additional abilities. I paint mana, you can purchase it. Abilities such as Poison Vaccine and Sleep Vaccine. Best to choose an ability that fits each type of character fight style. Also, you can pay mana to purchase special skills, skills, and magic. Power them up. Equip the ability that is right to your character and learn special skills along with them. Maybe it'd be better if you begin learning special skills that match with each character's weapon of choice first. Seems you like swords. It's like just Blade Rush, yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot I have to. 
We learned how to rush with blades, and... Don't need that, Fenric. We'll get triple strike. Roger. You're a boulder. You're an axe, so I actually need to get you to do stuff. But as this, you can also, guys, notice right now, just based, remember how this guy, um, uh, the other ones, we had to learn the skills and then they just popped in? These ones, they're available based on what, what character tier you are, usually from the start, and you can just buy them right here. As long as they have the mana for it, I can get you guys up to tier 3 right there and just do good. And you, <laughs> you can't do shit. You can't do shit, you can't do shit. Evilities, actually. Let's see, Velvet Tourist. Team attack chance to get 50%. Wow. Reflex. A lot of pretty decent stuff, actually. Base HP increase by 5. Only 5%, but not much at all. Fenric still can't do game. percent more mana gained if killing blows dealt. Wow, so they actually encourage healer um, of like combat hero, I guess. Fifty percent chance to evade if on higher height than attack. One hell! Healing fee at the infirmary becomes one hell for all printy for the printy that would be so helpful if I actually wanted to like printy bombing. <coughs> as far as compulsive savings go. Place, but lift and throw. The third part of the lesson is about lift and throw. Sweet dude! <coughs> no, you're not gonna be happy, Brittany. In a real battle, enemies won't always be within your reach. I'll teach you a lesson! Yeah, can't do much there. Just like that. If you're too far from an opponent, your attack isn't gonna reach. Do you know what we do in this situation? Move as close as you can and then hit and turn, dude. <laughs> oh, that'll get you killed. You fool! You'll only end up receiving an attack from the enemy on their turn. Use lift and throw in order to reach an enemy that is as far away or higher on high ground. Like lift on them. Try to lift me up, Fenric. Excellent. Now throw me towards the enemy. The circle number is your throw range. Here it says the limit is five panels, but it's all dependent on the character. Can be thrown up that height. <clears throat> hmm. Looks like it's too far to reach, even with a throw. What should we do now? Should we give up and, and turn? It's too soon to give up. Hmm. You might be able to use that box as compensation for its height. Here I come. Wait, we're using a healer for it. Okay, let's use it. Yeah. Let's see if this will work. Time to bust some balls. There it is, yeah. It's perfect. We got so much closer to the enemy, dude. As a reward for enthusiasm, allow me to teach you another important technique that will come in handy. Towers. Lift a character who's already lifting another character. Unless you have more characters called making towers in the netherworld. 
When a special skill that involved power with that ability shop to start using powerful tower moves. Yes, there are tower moves now. And that's it. Lift and throw stack towers. Engrave those words into your memory. If you live multiple units and throw each other, in order to move further. Yep, that's correct. There are many other useful tactics, but you have to figure them out for yourself. Counting on you! There are a few things to look out for while using this tactic. You receive damage if you end your turn while lifting an enemy. Another thing, lifting and throwing commands can only be used by human type units, not by monster types. Lastly, prunies! You have a tendency to blowing up when you're thrown. That's all. <laughs> we'll begin practice with a good opportunity to try out the different moves. Aye aye, dude! Is he telling us to try blowing ourselves up, dude? <laughs> yes, he is. He's a good man. Counter, and then attack entry. There goes Valzi again. Here I come. Fenric. Counter, and then Fenric's gonna go back again. And there you go. You're there for sure. And counter. Yeah, he counted again, actually. That's crazy. Oh no, you didn't. Too bad you don't have a skill yet. Actually, not think about it. Get him. Beginner! 7x screen for everyone! And a beginner spear. Awesome. Geo effects is the next one. Oh boy. That's gonna be interesting to say the least. Heal everyone! Heal! No prizes. Let's save. I'm starting to get tired now. Oh, I should not be recording this this late at night, but I want to get it over with and I want to probably time over the weekend, so I'm doing this now. <sighs> right now you cannot blame me for yawning, alright? It's this late at night, it's 12.54, tired, kind of, maybe-ish. <coughs> Geo effects. Part of me actually does want to skip the tutorials, but I just learned something about defense, so... Are you ready for this last part of the- Thank you, last part! You got it, dude, we're ready! You know what these blocks and panels are on the map? They're geo blocks and geo panels, dude! Geo panels are like pieces of land that possess spiritual elements and building blocks of the netherworld, dude. The geo blocks are the crystallized version of the spiritual and element. That's what our textbook said, dude. That's correct. I'll be using these geo blocks and panels for the last part of your lesson. One must effectively fight tactics. Use geo effects. Geo effect is the general term used by representing the influence of the geo blocks. Now, look at the color. The color panel, the yellow panel of the map. Enemy boost. Yep, that means if it's on the. That's blue. At least on my screen, it looks grayish. Well, I guess. Component would do that. <coughs> this means that when an enemy is on top of a blue panel, the enemy's attack and defense stats increased by 
Okay, I really can't get over how that's supposed to be blue. I mean, it looks gray, period. For me, at least. It's important on to note that this boost is only effective on enemies. It says enemy boost. Absolutely, this is a big disadvantage to us. In that case, what should we do, Prinnies? Destroy all the blocks. Destroy all the blocks, dude. I'd move the enemies off the lift panel by throwing them, dude. I'd move the enemies off the panel before I fight them, dude. I expected you pretties to have raised great care. They're all too smart to be pretties. However, there's another better way. You can destroy all of the geo panels at once. Fuse this tactic. Let me teach you the way. Pay attention. <coughs> change green. It says geo block change green, dude. Change green means that when this geo block is destroyed, the geo panel is on it. Well, then will change to this color green. For example, if you destroy a change green on a on a blue, it would change the panels to blue. And Green and blah. Don't forget that while the panels are changed colors, all, in, all allies, enemies, and blocks on those panels will receive damage. Okay, dude. So can we try destroying the geo panels by changing their colors? However, these color changing blocks aren't enough to destroy those panels. You also need a null block. Which is right there, thankfully. That is the null block. Do you see how it says geo block null? It's currently sitting atop the red one. All other red panels will be destroyed if you're able to destroy that. Block. By this tactic, I gotta do it. All I gotta do is destroy the null block after changing all panels the same color. That's correct. You figured it out. Conveniently enough, all the blocks on the panel in, the in place of that are perfectly clear need to be demonstrated. To practice, you solve the problem. Okay, dude. It's better for beginners to just change the color for one at a time until all the panels are the same color, right, dude? You also find more bonus. You also feel more bonus up bonus gauge by changing colors. Oh my god. With more bonus, you obtain greater bonus hits items after clearing the map. Now get to it and do it. Wish you could get more sardines rather than bonuses. True. It's true. Anyway, this is your final lesson. I wish you all good luck. Aye aye, dude. We want sardines too, dude. <coughs> so, just briefly looking. This is supposed to be a green one. But this is blue. This is green, but that's blue. So I think we have to start on this one, actually. Well, we can't. Blue, it'll turn there. It'll turn. Meh. It could be that I'm just half asleep right now, but meh. This. Yeah. Here I come. Here I come. Huh. That's a cheap right there, actually. Wait, uh, what'd I do that for? <coughs> Brace yourself! Wait, no. Brace yourself! I'll teach you a lesson! Not bad! Those turn red. No. Nuke the enemy. Wow. Forgive well, we have a healer. Not bad. Bad. Ready, good. Ready, good. I'm gonna do it. I got 
got this. Ha, <laughs> can't do anything. There's gonna be quite a bit of XP gathering. I got this! Can you triple strike him? That you can! Now that looks good. Damn, we didn't get a full night. Oh well. No, don't skip the demo. Here's a message to all of you printies. You finally completed all of my lessons. No matter what kind of masters you might serve, never forget your pride at being printies from Hades! And lastly, keep in mind that any fool who messes up and gets sent back to Hades will be met with a brutal rehabilitation program. Response I like to hear. Allow me to fulfill the promise that I made to you. You shall each receive one sardine. They were raised naturally, freshly caught this morning. Yeah, dude! Sweet, dude! You the man, Lord Val, dude! <laughs> <laughs> Making such a ruckus over a single sardine. These prinnies have been well deprived by our lord. Hmm. Now, prinnies, enjoy your sardine and go work hard under your future mess. Hades is going on here! There's only one idiot who could do such a thing without your permission, my lord. This must be his doing. This is unacceptable. How am I going to keep the promise I made to the Prinnies? Let's go, Fenric. We need to get those Prinnies back. Understood. All is for my lord. That man is nothing but a nuisance to my lord. I must make my move now. Hey everybody, we're Brown Hearn. Thanks for watching. It was a lot of fun, and if you actually don't mind, a bit of a plug here, stop by our stop by our my w website. Yes, www.asoawesome.com. It's a website I use for uploading my videos anything that I find comfortable with and at the general form talk chat games anime music movies anything you want as long as there's a topic for it and if not you could probably make one for it and also as a side note I actually do live stream well believe it or not when I actually say I live stream I do live stream if you want stop by have a good time have a blast make it enjoyable for one of us <laughs> and uh, thanks for watching guys and I hope you have a good time remember Stay awesome.